Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can turn on text to speech read aloud on the Samsung phone or the Android phone uh, in 2022. First, tap on the home button to go back to your home screen. And on the home screen, you want to swipe up to go into the app screen. And in here, you want to open up the Play Store app. Next, in Play Store app, you want to look for an app called Accessibility Suite. So tap in the text, um, in the search text box, and then you want to type in Accessibility Suite. And in here, from the search result, you want to tap on Android Accessibility Suite. Now open up this app and install it. Once the app has finished installed, you want to tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. Okay, so from the home screen, you want to swipe down at the top and tap on the settings icon in the quick settings panel. In here, swipe up to go down and tap on accessibility. Next, go down and tap on install apps. Then go down the list and tap on select to speak. Next, tap on the toggle button here to switch it on. Then from here, tap on the allow button and then tap on got it. Once you turn on the shortcut, it will be added to the accessibility button. You can also assign other shortcuts to the side key here as well. To do that, you tap on the left hand side panel and in here you want to turn on, press and hold volume up and down keys for three seconds. And you want also to activate press side and volume up keys so that when we press on the side with the volume up key combination, it will bring up a menu and in here you can choose select to speak. All right, once we have turned on the shortcuts, tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. Now open up an app that has the text you want to read aloud. For example, I'm going to open up my internet app and here I have some text that I want to read aloud. I'm going to refresh the page and then tap on the accessibility, sorry, accessibility button and this will bring up the text um, select to speak. You can tap on the left hand side arrow to expand it. Now before you start uh, having the app to read out the text, you can tap on the settings button. In here, you can choose to read in the background or not. You can choose to have it read text on images as well. And you can tap on text to speech settings. In here, you can change the speech rate, the pitch. You can change the language. You can choose a preferred engine. By default, it is set to Samsung text to speech. So you might want to choose uh, Google, uh, Google services to read out text to speech. And after that, you can tap on the settings button. And here you can choose install voice data. And then you can go down the list and select which voice data you want to use. This is an example of speech. This is an example of speech. This is an example. This is an example of. This is an example of speech. This is an. This is an example of speech synthesis. So you can go down there and choose which voice you want to use. After that, in here, it's just got the amplify speech volumes and other settings for the text to speech. All right, then we can now go back and then go back into the text. After that, we're going to now have the app we add the text. Now there are a few different ways how you can have it uh, we add the text. Methods for finding. Edit. Sorry, so you can tap on the play Edit. button. And when you tap on the play button, it will try to read text from the top of the page down to the bottom. So you can see if I tap on the accessibility, accessibility button, it will, if I tap on the play button now, Methods for finding. Edit. It will read the text from the top down, or you can open it up, and then you can point where to start reading. So if I wanted to read from here, I can point on that. The first class consists of void finders that try to find empty regions of space based on local galaxy density. The second class are those which try to find voids via the... Or I can select which part of the text it will read up to. So I can open that and then I can drag and create a square or rectangles where it will select the text. So it will start try to read the text from here. There exist a down number of here. ways for finding voids with the results of large scale surveys of the universe. Of the many different algorithms, virtually all fall at 27, 28, uh, 
There's 29. I can also tap on the next in the back button to skip forward, uh, skip backwards in the text. And finally, you can also tap on the stop button to stop the text read aloud. And that's it. That's how you can have your text read aloud on your Samsung phone or Android phone in uh, 2022 methods. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.